This Mosque Report video is brought to you by Gina as the mayor. I can sing in front of 800 people. This is making me more nervous than anything I've ever done before. First on the agenda is a collection of whereases. I'm not going to sing it. Thank you for <laughs> the harmonize. option, though. Whereas 2024 fire prevention theme smoke alarms make them work for you. How many of us take the batteries out because it's squawking at two in the morning? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, ready for the consent agenda? Um, now there are no mayoral, mayoral, say that fast mm -hmm. five times, throw a whereas in there. How's it going, y'all? Aiden Anderson here with the Moscow Minutes. The timing of various external events meant that Mayor Betke, along with councillors Sandra Kelly and Julia Parker, were absent at this week's meeting of the Moscow City Council. Councillor Gina Teruccio acted as mayor in order to conduct the proceedings, which we should get into now. First, Gina read the proclamation for Fire Prevention Week, which was followed by public comment. During that time, we heard from three members of the public, Thomas Carpenter spoke, introducing the council to his civics class, who were there visiting the meeting as a part of their unit on local government. Kent Salisbury requested that the council take a look at possibly removing some graffiti on a shed near Paradise Creek Trail, a request which was followed by his admitting at the podium that he had been the one who vandalized the old mural on the corner of A and Jackson Street. I do apologize. Uh, in my past, I uh, vandalized the mural on Jackson and A Street because I felt it had meaning with my sister's death. And I, I, there was a story about it uh, in my life, that I, and I learned about that mural. I tried to address those issues at city council. I mentioned that. I tried to work in yeah, contact with the city attorney. And I made you know um, an error on my own doing that, but it was something I had to do, and it's all turned out for the best. Lastly, Paul Kimmel reminded the council about upcoming speaking events regarding water conservation. The next two items on the agenda, a presentation of the Mayor's Golf Tournament Awards and the annual report from the Moscow Farmers Market Commission, were sadly canceled, as the people associated with those items had reported being sick. So we really only had one action item on the agenda. That item was the written decision regarding the appeal of the Board of Adjustment decision on 414 South Main Street. We've gone through that whole issue in two previous videos, so I won't rehash the details here. The item today was the final piece of paperwork to be ratified by the council in terms of solidifying their decision, which they had previously voted on. As it stood with them, nothing more really needed to be said, and the council approved the written decision unanimously. Just a couple highlights from the council reports. Most of the council mentioned being engaged in discussions with the Palouse Basin Aquifer Committee about moving forward with their efforts to better maintain a regional water supply, and Bryce Blankenship reminded everyone about the upcoming Moscoberfest celebration. And that's what I got for you this week. A little bit shorter, to be sure, but it's interesting to see how the council functions when a few of its members are absent. Short meetings like this are also a good way to get your feet wet if you happen to be interested in local politics but haven't got that much time in the evenings for the meetings. As always, we'll have the relevant links posted with this video, and if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm Aiden Anderson with the Moscow Minutes. We'll see you next time.